Okay, we're gonna change out the PTO. Make sure you put the front, we got the front down in a little hole here. So that way it's the tractor is leaning forward. So it's not gonna leak out all the fluid in the back. So the first thing we do is come in and grab the PTO out and you'll see that there's a groove in there and then the two, the clip. So we grab a hold of that with a needle nose vice grips. Make sure you're on it good. Let me grab this one. This one. This one fits in here pretty tight, so we gotta get, get that thousand RPM shaft out and wiggle it. There it goes. Just kind of let it sit in there. Keep it out of there and try to keep it free of dirt. That's kind of the idea. Set it down. Normally I have two hands, but I'm trying to hold the video here. So you grab a hold of the the 540 shaft and slide it out quick. Oh, we're losing fluid. It must not have had quite enough quite enough uh, angle on it. So one in, important thing is uh, on this tractor, you can set the so the PTO brakes not all the way on. You just kind of put it in the middle here. Then you can turn the PTO shaft a lot easier to get it to line up. So the, there it goes, slides right in. So you can see there's a nice groove there. Grab a hold of our clip. Make sure it's clean. And then you find, see there's a groove right here, a flat spot. And we'll turn it so we can get on there a little easier with the, with the, vice grips slide it in there all right so you can see the clip is sitting in there but it's not all the way in the groove on this side so use like a punch or, or a screwdriver and just push it in all the way around so you make sure it's all the way seated so it's all the way in now and then we just slide our 540 shaft back in the holder area to keep it clean good and then we'll put the clip back in up there so the same thing find that flat spot on the on the uh, shaft so that you can easily get your um, clip on there with the pliers so there's the flat spot right there you can just barely see it there you go and we'll slide that clip back in there and we'll be good to go so you can see it's seated in there good we like slapped it in there with the vice grips and then push it in with the punch that I had so you can see that this shaft didn't get used very much it's still got all the original paint on it yet thousand rpm shaft there you go hopefully that helps